Hey Fire Signs, welcome to my channel. I want to thank you for joining me. This is for Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this has no time uh, stamp on it because energy um, is fluid. So um, if the situation fits, it's for you. If it don't, um, go ahead and check out your Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. And maybe those will uh, resonate a little more. So I'm going to... Turn you down here so you can watch me shuffle. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? What do they need to know? What do they get to know? What do you want them to know? Okay. So you guys um, are dealing with a tower moment, a, a shakeup in your world. Um, you're either trying to prevent this from happening or it has happened already in the past. Um, this is something you didn't see coming. It happened very fast. It felt like it tore you down to, to nothing. Your next card out, oops, is the Ten of Pentacles in your current energy. You're in search of, of your happiness. You're in search of your perfect partner, perfect life. Um, for some of you... This tower had to happen in order for what is meant for you to come in. You have the high priestess, so um, you're very you're a very spiritual person, fire sign. You're very intuitive. You're very well um, in tune with your own spirituality. For some of you, you work in the arts. Um, you have it really all at your fingertips. You're just waiting for it to come in. Um, in your overall energy, you have justice in reverse. So so for some of you, things haven't been very fair for you. Um, could be dealing with a Libra, but it doesn't have to be. Um, you were treated unfairly in, in a relationship of the past. You, The karmic scales are way out of balance. For some of you, you're waiting for your twin flame. Um, the High Priestess card is always a twin flame card for me with the uh, black and white, the yin and yang, our mirrored self. Um, way too many cards, but the King of Pentacles and the Hermit um, and the Queen of Swords came out. So you could be waiting on a Virgo um, as well, who is um, still in another relationship. What's the energy of them, of who they're dealing with? Or who's coming towards them. Yeah. The other um, person, whether you're waiting on them to return, you're with them, or you're wanting them to come your direction, they are taking their time. Um, they are making very calculated plans. Um, they could be trying to get their finances in order. But they will come forward and offer you um, some sort of relationship. Or they... They'll come towards you for a group of you. They're going to come towards you and explain to you what happened in the past. Um, yeah. Yeah, they're going to they're going to make you an offer. It may not be everything that you um, want right now, but but they are coming towards you. Um, they are trying to escape a relationship where they feel tied and bound to. They are um, trying to get out of a relationship that could be codependent. Some of them are dealing with addictions. Yeah, and in the past, look at this. What did I say? The balance. You were in a relationship that was unbalanced. It was not fair to you. You guys uh, were put in a position where the scales were not in your favor and they were you were giving more than you were getting. Their overall energy card is the six of pentacles in reverse. So this is going to um, this is going to even out. They are going to start um, putting more into the relationship, more into the connection. Um, what is the outcome of this? They were the the relationship was out of balance because they were sharing their energy between two people for this group of you. They had somebody else um, that they were trying to give energy to as well. And that's why it wasn't very fair to you. 
Oh, I thought we had a flipper in there. Maybe not. Okay, an earth sign is going to come forward and um, offer you something, some sort of stability. Um, in the past, you guys have had a lot of arguments. Um, you guys have argued over the connection. This is also a lot of internal conflict, them um, debating what they want and what where they're at. This is what they, how do they move forward? Um, you guys have been conflicted on whether to move on or to stay. You have felt like you felt beat down by this relationship. You feel like there's not much more you can take. Um, it caused you a lot of heartache. It caused you a lot of heartbreak um, because of this third party situation. But you guys are getting over the heartache. You realize that there are things that happened in the past, but you are deciding to leave them in the past. Um, you have been betrayed. You have been stabbed in the back um, by this unfair uh, position that they put you in. But this is over. Um, you guys are completing a cycle. You are letting the heartbreak go. You're letting the betrayal go. You're letting go of all the failures in the past, the arguments, the, um, the unsuccessful relationship. You guys are letting all that go because you're at the end of a chapter. You have a new beginning on the on the horizon, and you're getting over the emotional loss of of what this person has caused you. Um, for some of you, yeah. For some of you, you are still getting over the heartbreak of a relationship of the past, like a long time ago, like within the last three years, and you had to heal from that before this relationship would be successful, anyways. Um, and for this group of you, spirit wants you to know that you deserve love. Do not let, um, somebody who is a narcissist, um, control your heart, your thoughts, uh, your actions, because it's not, it's not healthy for you. It's, oops, this relationship was toxic at one point. Um, but you're getting out of that. What advice do you have for fire signs? You're getting, um, you're moving forward, and I do see you finding success in July. Um, pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, there's definitely red flags here with this, um, with this uh, toxic energy, with this um, out of being out of balance. You know, there's a lot of arguing. You're being betrayed. You're being, uh, your heart is aching for this person. So you know, just. Look at that in the bottom of the deck is codependency. So, yeah, there is just for one group of you, this person, um, this person brings a lot of toxicity to your life. For another group of you, yeah, this is your twin flame, and this you've already met the person, the romantic partner that you seek. Um, means that there is somebody coming in for you. It is not this person, though. It is not the person that is being toxic in your life, out of balance, making the karmic scales um, out, of, out of whack. And you know this. Your intuition is screaming at you that this is not right. This is not love. This is not um, a successful relationship. However, you have met the one that that you are meant to be with, but you have to move on from this toxic energy that you are in right now. You have to move forward and um, heal from this so that that person that you have met already can come back into your life and, um, and make you happy. Um, so make sure that you don't confuse a twin flame connection. I'm going to tip you back up here. Make sure that you're not confusing a twin flame connection with a narcissist because unfortunately a lot of the things that you have to go through are um, similar, but they're not the same. You, Your instincts, your intuition, your gut feeling, they are telling you whether this person is right for you, um, 
And if and if it's telling you that it's not, then listen to your gut. If something is up and you're you feel it, then trust your instincts, trust your intuition because there's a lot of toxicity going on in whoever's cards I just pulled. So um yeah. Spirit is saying to to take a step back and um to listen because your guides are trying to point you in the right direction. So I hope you guys enjoy your reading. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.